Welcome back, everyone. My name is Eltamar, and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Wasteland 3, where we left last time. We're preparing for a battle. Or at least, well, two more battles, at least. So we're in this hallway. We need to get to this room, which is the makeshift jail, and there's another room up there. Obviously, there's a hallway. Uh, there is an enemy in this hall somewhere. I saw it over there, like a bomb hopper or something. There's also a trap. There are several traps. Gonna grab some experience here. It is a gas hopper, so yep. I guess we can just shoot it and hope for the best. I almost killed it in one hit. We should be able to finish it off before it does anything else. We're out of range. With most of our people. If I move here, can I shut it? Yeah. We literally said to move once. Now, of course, she can't quite finish it off because her assault rifle skill is hot garbage. Oh, come on, Quan. Alright. So that one's gone. Easy enough. And let's grab this explosive. 135 experience. That's a lot of experience for just disarming a trap. There's another one there. And that is explosives again. Luckily none of this is sneaky shit because we're not very good at that. We're pretty great at explosives though. She's getting some serious experience. Alright, and then we have a door. Let's save before opening the door because you never know. Alright, this is clearly a room full of people. There is one, five, five enemies. Six enemies, I didn't see that guy hiding behind the pillar. So I think our best bet is to open up with a rocket, as is usually our best bet. Let's quick save before going in because uh, we could get caught coming into the room, which might be bad. I'm gonna hide you here and you can take out that guy. Okay. Okay, we're reloading this fight because Iron Cordite died our first attempt. Um, and if he dies, you can't recruit him. So we got to keep him alive at all costs during the battle. Which is not as easy as you may think that it would be, considering that he is a rather strong character. Also, there's a really cool song to play in this battle. It's playing right now. But it'll turn off once we load into the game. Because we're technically not in the fight yet. Okay, so we're going to be very careful about starting this fight. We're going to put our character there. She needs to have her rocket launcher equipped, and it is. I'm going to move her to here. If I move her over here, the fight starts, so we got to be careful about that. Quan, I also want over here somewhere. Oh, that didn't work as well as I hoped, but okay. Hey, assholes, over here. And this is for the food. Luckily, he kills one person immediately upon entering combat, which is perfectly fine. That's awesome. And I just cleaned my gun. But. I got him. Unfortunately, the rest of this fight is harder. That was kind of unfortunate. I was kind of hoping that would die, but oh well. Uh, we do have our rocket launcher. That is important. We'll move forward one to get to cover. I'm tempted just to shoot these two. We can hit all four, but it's not going to do that much. Let's do the three of them. really didn't do as much as I hoped it was going to do. Okay. That's fine. She'll prep for next turn, in which case she'll be firing another rocket. Probably. That guy is not dead and has a ton of life. That's 5 AP to there. There's a trap somewhere over there. So. 
He's not dead yet either. Very close. I think Lucia will have to finish him off, which is not ideal. I kind of wanted to be doing other... He didn't die still? Oh, this is bad. That hurts. He didn't die. He got crippled, though. That sucks. Oh, good. That one's almost killed his own guy. Okay. Got to demoralize, which is nice, I guess. We could use a grenade, probably. Let's throw out a turret, because I think we're going to need one here. No one's down, which is a plus. That's pretty much all we can do this turn. We can't shoot, because we need more AP. We could throw a grenade in there. Or just rocket launcher, I guess, and then grenade. We should have enough for a rocket launcher and a grenade. We're really running low on grenades, though. We gotta keep Cordite alive at all costs. That's why I'm fine burning some ammo here. He's got 388 health, which is quite a lot. Just got one AP left, which is not enough to do anything. So two med hypo, and then we can shoot. Okay, should be fine to do this. She could move here and shoot that guy. I don't know if he'll kill him, but it might be worthwhile to try. That guy's still alive. I forgot about him entirely, and we missed. Luckily, our turret didn't, didn't forget about him. Good job, turret. Yes, shoot the turret. It's got lots of life. Oh, that's gonna suck. Lucia is definitely down. I almost... I forgot about that guy, too. But, he's off there in the corner. Why would you use that attack on him? That's not useful in that situation. Oh, well, whatever. The AI doesn't know how to play Iron Cordite at all. 50% chance to hit. Yeah, might as well. That was decent. Okay. Okay, we're gonna get her or get her up. We're gonna just grenade these last two. Get rid of them. Now we only have the marksman left and this guy over. Oh no, the guy's dead. Right, the turret killed him. All right. Uh, you can move up. So, uh, that's a bad place. There's no good place to go to shoot this guy. 58% chance is the best we got. I don't get to reload anyways. Okay, well, let's prep for next round. Bad hypo. We're fine. We burned a bunch of explosives here, but that's A-OK. -okay. Also, our turn- oh my god, our turn almost killed Quan. See, he's much better when he gets actual equipment on. Six damage is kind of pitiful. Then again, it's not that much better than what we're doing. Can we hit him? Is there anywhere we can go where we can hit him better? 61%? 50, okay, so there. 61% chance. Nope. Should've figured. Uh, we do have a precise shot, which might be worth using. Shoot him in the head. Almost killed him. Maybe the turret will kill him. Or Quan. 18%, 48%, 50 58%. Alright, good enough. There we go. You're welcome. We're the Desert Rangers. Never heard of you. What's this about? We heard you might have some dirt on Buchanan and his kids. Dirt on Buchanan? <laughs> I am his dirt. That's why he buried me here. Hey? Okay. I was... 
I am Warlord of the Scar Collectors, greatest slavers of the Colorado Plains. It's nothing to be proud of, but when okay. When the Patriarch came east to put us down, we gave him more than he bargained for. Stopped him cold. I know he tells his people he secured his borders by beating us. Makes himself out a real hero. Bullshit. He made a deal. Gave the Scar Collectors, Piasso's, and Godfish's money and supplies to hunt east and keep the smaller gangs out. I don't believe you. The Patriarch would never do such a thing. Oh, he would definitely do that. You wouldn't believe what your Patriarch would do. What was so bad about the deal? Security is the enemy of ambition. Got so used to having the Patriarch hand me my living that I forgot my destiny. And what destiny is that? <sighs> An oracle told my mother I was born to make the Wakarusa Redlegs the greatest horde in Kansas. I was going to use the Scar Collectors to unite the Colorado gangs, then lead them home to take what's mine. Okay. But the deal with the Patriarch made me lazy and destiny's a jealous bitch ignore her and she'll have her revenge so you want revenge on Buchanan? and his daughter he stole my honor she stole my army happened right after she failed to take her daddy's throne ran our way and pretty soon realized she could turn our gangs against us by telling them about the deal we made with Buchanan which we'd kept secret. She told him we'd settle for table scraps when we could have had the whole of Colorado. That we'd become guard dogs when we could have been kings. Which was the truth. So the gangs rose up. Star the dreams over through clouds drifting west to lead the godfishers. Let Chirito kill Slapstick to take the payasos. And that rat steel trap jumped me and sold me to a bauxite mine. Now he's running the Scar Collectors. Not for long. So you're looking for some payback? Once I take back the gangs from Liberty, I'll lead them east, away from your pretty little city, and use them to once again become ruler of the Wakarusa Redlegs, and then all of Kansas, as was ordained. Yeah. First, payback. Before I leave Colorado, I will put the Patriarch's head on a spike. If you want that too, maybe we can walk the same path for a time. What do you say? Could you use another gun? Welcome aboard. No. <laughs> Alright, so we do have a new character now, finally. Ironclad Cordite. He is a strength speed coordination based brawler he's got nine brawling already which means we actually have a book for brawling just make him 10 brawling right away which is absolutely worth it so let's do that we're also going to give him some equipment because he doesn't have any equipment on and we don't have any melee weapons or uh, punchy weapons yet we should go get some but for now what are we missing we're missing the weird science requirement for that so let's give him some armor at the very least we can give him this helmet or that helmet. Guess probably this one for now. We need to get some better gear for him. Badly. Maybe there's some gear around. Let's go look around a little bit here. First of all, corpses, what do you got on you? Nothing. Nothing. Pocket saw pops. Nice. Uh, nothing else really though. Except a key. A key that opens this door, I think. Experience. Oh my, that is foul. Let's disarm this trap. Sheets of thin plastic hang from a curved metal rod. The original pattern is faded, obscured by decades of mold and stains. Gross. Uh, injury kit and stuff like that. Large container has ah, oh, good a saw blade, cestus, and a bunch of armor. This looks like the stuff that Iron Corda is supposed to wear if you pick him up to make him useful in combat. So that's going to up his damage quite a bit, and I think all of this armor is what he can wear, so we might as well throw it on him. It's got way better, well, except for the chest plate. It's not any different than what he's currently wearing, but that's fine. 
All right, so he's got 21 armor. He also looks like a Chaos Space Marine. Uh, yeah. He absolutely looks like a mixture of Orc and Chaos Space Marine aesthetics. So now we have a fifth character. Pretty strong. He's, uh, very good at punchy things. If we look at his perks, though, what makes his... What makes Brawling really good in this game uh, is this level 10 one. We need a perk for it, so hopefully we'll get it a level or two. Uh, brawling attacks cost minus one AP, which means you can get them down to two AP. So if you max out your coordination and your speed and strength, and then eventually luck and uh, intelligence, if you can get that far, you can like close into melee and get five or six attacks off in a round. Which can do a lot of damage. Uh, let's not run too fast, because, yep, traps. That's what I was thinking was going to be here. There's a door. Let's save. So there's definitely some mercenaries in here. What the hell was all that gunfire? Nobody should have gotten here. There's just two of them. Love picking eight. You're oh. the ones who've been shooting up the place. Yes. Who's that man nobody in the bed? Nobody talks to the guests, and nobody wanders in here without permission. We got our orders. Okay. Uh, so there's oh, there's way more. How are they invisible? Okay, we're gonna have to load. We definitely uh can't do it that way. Also, why are there two invisible people? That's just kind of annoying. That'll be fine, we'll retry that fight. We just can't have our sniper taken out in the first round because of invisible people. Also, having invisible people to fight is kind of annoying. Step one, does anyone have injuries? You do. You have a lame leg. We're also out of grenades, which is kind of annoying. I only expected there to be a couple of guys in that room. There were several more than that. Do you have any injuries? No, you're fine. Alright, let's reopen this door. Maybe we can start with a rocket. What the hell was all that gunfire? Nobody should have gotten here. So yeah, we can't actually see those invisible guys. They started out here somewhere. Weird. So if we fire into this room, like here, will we hit the invisible guys? Or will we just hit these two commandos? Shit! Protect the old man! Okay, so they did appear this time. Kind of? That one's over there. There's three up here. Not you, you. We won't hit the, uh... That guy yet. Didn't do great damage. We need a better rocket launcher. Do we have a better rocket launcher? We have a slightly better rocket launcher. Why are we using that one? Next turn, we'll use it for our last rocket of the day. Uh, we're also going to throw a turret into the room to both soak up hits and also to do damage. I'm going to stand here. I think we can shoot into the room from there. And can't do that yet, though. Alira wants to move where Lucia is, but Lucia's in the way. And has terrible... Sight lines. Ironclad Cordite is. could just charge in and start laying on the pain, but. the 6 AP to get in. He'll do one attack and then immediately get mowed down, so I think I'm gonna pull him back a bit until they actually come to us. And just wait. 
can move back one now. She's probably going to get taken out. Now let's move you here. Let's see what we can do. Alright. Alright, what do we got happening here? So the turret is being shot. That's a med dart. That didn't heal for that much, so it's not a big deal. That's slightly more annoying. But they've all grouped up kind of nicely for us. Also, our turret healed itself, somehow. Anywho, uh, we are going to go in and shoot this rocket into that group right there. Can we do it from here? I guess we can. Alright, that's pretty good. Let's go in now. I think we're fine. Do you have a shot on anyone? A 5% shot on one and a 79% shot on the other. We can mark that guy. I think... Over here, guys! It worked. Which gives us our precise shot, and we'll just kill him hopefully in one shot here. Dead. Leaving only three enemies left, one of which is almost dead already, so. We can move up to here. Oh, there's no cover. Uh, we can shoot that guy. We have no positioning that'll allow us to shoot that guy for any realistic amount of damage. But we can go here and shoot that guy, I guess. Twice. Or not. Okay. It's your turn. Let's get you in here. So seven. How much AP to get here? Seven. Seven, seven, seven. So that's just seven. Go in, Cordite. You got this. He'll get one shot and his shotgun. One there punch, which is not great, but... He also does have his uh, shotgun gauntlet, which can do a fair amount of damage as well, as shown by that. Can't get into range with her, so let's just get her to cover. We do have a turret. I might kill that one. I'm hoping that'll kill. Oh, that was bad. So it didn't do a whole lot of damage. This guy... Oh, that's fine. Yeah, shoot the turret. Perfect. That's a saw pop. That's annoying. Didn't do anything this round, though. We have very negligible chances of shooting anything other than the sop up, which we got a critical hit on and killed in one hit. So I'm actually going to call that a victory. Oh, we don't want to shoot our rocket launcher again. Also, we have no ammo for our rocket launcher, so it doesn't matter anymore. Let's move to here, and then we can shoot sideways at him, or kinda, I guess. Not well, and we missed every shot. Uh, Cordite, I think, can go punch. Oh, that's Quan. Uh, let's get Cordite's turn going first. Which side do I want to be on of this guy? This guy. Alright. How did you miss? Ugh. That's just annoying, but fine. Let's go here. We're in melee with him. Oh good, we actually did hit him. We also shot Cordite by accident. Uh, we could just come up here and shoot him in the back, I guess. 5 AP, she's got one shot. And then she can do her snapshot. Which did hit for once. Nice. Alright, that's all we got this turn. Our turret is not going to hit him. It's like a 5% chance around the corner. That is not a good cover position for you, buddy. I mean, it is if we can't hit you, though. <laughs> uh, let's just use Cordite. We'll save some ammo. I was kind of hoping our main character would get the killing blow, but that is clearly not the case. There we go. Problem solved. Uh, Elira leveled up, and so did Lucia. Whoa. Uh. Why did this go in so. Why am I focused on something ground level. or below the ground? That was very strange, but okay. Bunch of stuff from the corpses. There's also a life support machine. There is somebody called Clouds Drifting West. Who we've heard about.
Well, that was an anticlimax. There is fucking Fred, a creepy doll, which gives us plus 5% damage versus humans. Can't complain about that. That's a nitrogen tank and an ammo box. Which has a weapon mod and some ammo, obviously. Uh, nothing over here. There's an armor crate, which has trooper legs. These are okay, I guess. Alright, let's go talk to the corpse guy. In the bed lies a broken old man, dying from multiple terrible injuries and breathing only because of a machine. His eyes roll towards you as you approach. The ironclad. He nods feebly at Cordite. I know this one. Seems he was also betrayed by Buchanan. Take me out of here, ironclad. I must die under the sky. If we take you out of the bed, you'll die before we leave the room. Then... End my life here. Better than waiting. Who are you? It is not mercy that keeps me from killing you. For not knowing my name, my body betrays me. I am clouds drifting west. Leader and prophet of the godfishers, slayer of unbelievers, launcher of a thousand kites. So you're a monster. Holy. I've heard of this guy. Everybody who fought in the Plains Wars knows what he did. He's killed more people than hunger. Why are you here? Buchanan's daughter turned my people against me. They beat me, broke my bones, but I escaped. Not far enough, it Came seems. here, ordered Buchanan to make good on our deal. He turns his back and drags me here. I made the same mistake. May lightning strike him. You had a deal with the Patriarch? Deal. <laughs> he paid me tribute so that I would not raid his lands. Men, women, he delivered to us offerings for kites. Raise them to the gods. What? Are you serious? You think he is not capable? A man who rules with a hammer? You are lying! The Patriarch would never trade innocent lives for security. Incorrect. <laughs> Believe what you want, girl. <laughs> Always wondered what his deal with you was. The Patriarch gave you human beings in tribute? Who were these people? Don't know. Not buying it. Never heard about anything like this, and I hear all the dirt. At least I think I do. Sorry, you're not our problem. May you never look upon the sky again. The only thing keeping this broken man alive is this life support machine. I mean, we should probably just kill him. The old man chokes and bucks, fighting for air but to no avail. As he dies, his eyes find yours. He's kind of an evil asshole. He deserves to die. We don't need him. I don't want to be merciful towards him, but at the same time, I don't need him coming back at some point in the game, possibly. I doubt he would, but you never know. You never leave potential enemies to come back. Abstract Artist Nonsense, 1996, Mixed Media. <laughs> oh. Look alive! Whoever took out the other shit could still be around. Oh shit! It's the Desert Rangers! Pull back! Do not engage! The Patriarch can keep his money! <laughs> Alright, well, that was easy enough. Apparently, they did not want to fight us because we were scary. 
that being said, we do still have a rather tough fight to do in this area, but we're going to do it in the next video because I think we're out of time. So like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others will see you next time. Take care.